All right, and there we have it. Now we have a completed um, DevRel OKR planning spreadsheet, uh, which was the objective. Now, this is not done yet. There are a few more things that you should uh, do. So the first thing is most likely under the measurements and the notes columns, right? You would have had ideas about how to track, how to count, etc., and um, maybe more detailed information. And you've marked them off as to do, right? So now it's time to go to the wiki and create that to do um, or go to a uh, code up a proof of concept of what you think your dashboard is going to look like. Um, wireframe it, for example, maybe um, test that the specific APIs that you are going to query actually do exist and these are actually uh, feasible modes of measurement, right? So you should do that homework. And then once you've done that, right, there's two things uh, that you're almost certainly going to revisit, right? So one thing is to revisit the start values and the end values. The other thing to revisit, of course, is how you phrase the key result, right? So those are two things that you're almost certainly going to revisit. Um, more um, other things that you tend to revisit um, sometimes, but you know, not not all the time, is pretty much everything else, right? All of the other columns they're in play. So you might choose a different start and end date. For example, your North Star, you might re realize that, hey, this is going to have a lot of inertia. And so I want this to be a six month or one year key result um, rather than a, uh, a quarterly one so that I don't have to front load all of these things. Or maybe because it is a, you decide to change this from a 30 day um, weighted moving average to a 90 day weighted moving average, you won't even get numbers by the end of this quarter, for example. Right. So, um, so, so these are all things that you would need to take into account. Right. Um, you might rejig the teams that are responsible, accountable, consulted, and informed. Right. Um, and you might even say, Hey, these key results, you know, that are one per row, maybe I'll split them to two, or maybe you'll take two of them. For example, these two, right. And join them together because it makes more sense to have them as one once you've revisited how to measure and how you define those measurements. All right. So um, the, the, the other thing that I'd like to point out um, right towards the end is that this process is iterative. So what I am, what I would like to do next is now that I've created this, right? And if this was a real thing that we're going to be doing with our team, right? With, with the DevRel team that I'm actually in right now, then what I would do is I would share this you know, with my with my team, right? Because right now I, only I can see it, and then we'd have a discussion, probably have a team meeting to come up and refine these with the rest of them, right? And then that's you know stakeholder. That's like your very first you know concentric circle of stakeholders. Then you've got your wider concentric circles of stakeholders. So the DevRel team reports into product. Then your wider circle of stakeholders would be the product team. Or if it reports in the marketing, then it would, the wider concentric circle would be the um, would be the marketing team, and then so you'd circulate your DevRel OKRs with them, and there what you would see is an, a further iteration that most likely will happen in the um, objectives column right over here. So this is the objectives column, and right now, um, as mentioned right from the get go, I've basically segmented them um, or categorize them according to DevRel areas. But when you go to connecting this to the wider team, this tends to change, right? So this will tend to plug into an existing uh, key result or objective of the wider team. And then you've got to rename them accordingly. Um, so for example, the North Star might be renamed to um, increase the developer outreach for uh, for our technology, right? So, it, so it might be renamed to this, right? So, right? Or it could be like uh, more devs. Uh, building on our platform you know these are these are examples of what that might transform to 
right? The other thing is that most of the time they don't fit exactly into the wider team's key results. So um, you might need end up um, combining the multiple groups into a single group, or you might end up splitting them. Um, in some cases, um, the key result may need to be discarded entirely and another key result needs to be added in its place. And these are all um, out of the scope of this particular planning session, but things that I think you should anticipate. And um, it would be good to know like some idea of what those might be while coming up with these key results. Okay, so once you've gone one concentric circle out, then you go for yet another concentric circle out. And so instead of the team that DevRel it sits within, it would be the team of, or I should say, organization-wide. So what are the entire organization's objectives and key results? And how does that um, wider team that DevRel is within, how do those key results fit in? And then how do your DevRel team uh, key results fit within that and then so you've got to like make two jumps and make that sort of double connection and that is actually important because at the end of the day you shouldn't be chasing key results that matter to DevRel for DevRel's sake you should be chasing key results that matter to the wider team that DevRel sits within and to the organization as a whole. And as long as each of your key results, you can see a through line through those two layers out of, from those two concentric circles, then you have picked a valid or good key result. Otherwise, you got to question whether that key result actually is important or if it's, and if it's not important, discard it. Or if it is important, but needs some modification in order to fit within the larger picture of um, in, within the bigger picture, then that's what you got to do as well. So, um, yeah, th those things are things to think about and have in the back of your mind while while thinking about this. But you know, generally speaking, out of the scope of um, planning within DevRel OKR as well. Now, why have I chosen this approach where I've planned out within DevRel and then sort of like a bottom up approach, plugging it up, uh, plugging it in? And the reason for that is because um, top-down key result discovery, if you will, works in, and is a good thing in a general sense. But in my experience, it tends to not be so great specific to DevRel functions. And that's because um, objectives and key results, if you want them to be exclusively top-down, they need to work. Um, they need to come from a place of understanding of all of the sub functions, the functions and sub functions, etc., um, that they eventually trickle down to and at the implementer level, like which individual person. And let's say you're a software engineer working for a tech company, that tends to be the case. So the company level objectives will understand the engineering department, um, key results by uh, intrinsically, right? And then the engineering department will understand the software engineering, that, that specific team, what key result it probably should have. So that's kind of top-down approach tends to work much better in uh, a so-called standard scenario. But in the case of DevRel, at a top level in an organization, because DevRel is relatively niche, and also because DevRel is very multifaceted and touches a lot of different areas, it is not very well understood at the top level at a company. So that's why it's kind of important to also do a bottom-up approach from DevRel, starting from the base, define what you want, and then see how to connect it um, into the top-down approach that has come, and then meet somewhere in the middle. I find that that approach is much better, um, is a much better path and gets you uh, better, wet, or I should say, better defined goals and key results. Uh, than you would if you took the purely top-down um, assigned approach. All right, that's it. Um, that's it from me. I hope you uh, learned something from this about DevRel strategy and how to plan your goals. Thank you.